Jacoby Ellsbury turned in a nice What up everybody? It is Ryan. Welcome back hits. MLB 15 the show road to the show with our creative pitcher Dan Ennis. And can we trade? No. Nope. Can't can't get a trade. And the game went to extra innings with the We are 88 overall. We have an adjusted overall of 94. And we are in Triple A. I mean, I'm just saying, I don't really deserve to be in the majors at this point, and quite frankly, I don't want to be in the majors. I don't like the Orioles. I don't want to be on the Orioles. I hate Buck Showalter. I want to be on a new team. I'm dying here. I'm literally dying. And it's kind of upsetting. But we're not on the stinky-ass Orioles. So hopefully, eventually, somehow, we can work... A trade out of here. They can finagle a trade. But until that time, we have some AAA baseball to play. As we are going against Mead, the old school alcoholic beer type thing of the Vikings. How wonderful. Give me a cup of Mead. Ooh, a little early there, guy. Is this the Georgia Braves? Or the G something Braves? It's the Braves. It definitely is. Oh, let it do. I don't think it's the Georgia. Gwennett. Is what I believe his uniform said. Get there. Good job. Oh, right up the middle. That one hurts. That one hurts. Are there? Pretty good angle right here because this ball is hit so hard and it's just about right at him. I mean, there's no time to do anything out there. He's pretty lucky that one didn't get him because it would have taken his head off. No, oh, we can. We can only hope of such things. Really? Now another one, two. Here's a ball hit foul down Burp, the third baseline, so they'll try it again. Again, a one, two. It's a two balls and two strikes now. And this is where he gets so tough. He's seen everything you've got, but you still gotta make one more. Damn it, man. And there's a base hit as that gets through into Damn it, the damn it, damn it. Sorry. It's okay. Really? What is going on here? Shoot him! You did not shoot him. Not even close to shooting him. I think he went. Later, dude. All right. All right, come on, offense. Pick me up. You didn't pick me up. Gwinnett. 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 Boom, boom, ba. Boom, boom, splat. Boom, boom, splat. Later, dude. No, you're out. Get out of here. Go away. Bland? Like he's super bland? I'm hitting stuff. 
I'm hitting stuff that I'm not supposed to be hitting. Changes up on him if that's in the dirt for a ball. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. 3 0. It's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Here's the 3 2 pitch. Oh, let it do. You weren't ready for the change. in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. And if you're not careful, this is the kind of guy that can run off six scoreless innings against you from here out. So that first inning run isn't something you can bank on holding up. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low and it's one and two now. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Fast, fast, slow, slow. Back to fast. Later, dude. You out. You out, you out, you out. You really, really out. Marcus Mead will dig in for a second time. A strikeout victim opening up the ball game. Now a fastball. I disagree. Third, that misses. It's ball one. I really, really, really disagree with that call. I don't disagree with that one. That one was definitely bad. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. A 2 1 offering. This is lifted oh boy, that's catchable. Field. That's gonna be caught. One away there we go. Here to begin the third. William Monroe will stand in. He grounded out. This dude looks really short. In there for strike one, zero oh and one. Here it comes. A late swing here as this is hit hard. Really, first baseman. Really. This sneaks by him a base hit. JB Shuck will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. First pitch of the at bat. Right at him. In the air out to left. Compton. Or at least close enough to right at him, and then I'll take it. Will be forced to retreat back to first. William Ra will stand in. It's Ro. This dude's name is Ro. Don't you give me that raw crap. Ra Ra Shishkumba. And the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. First offering on the way. You're going to sit there and tell me that ROH is raw. I don't think so. This will be speared at third, and that was self defense all the way. One gone. Christian Bethencourt. Betancourt. Like Unieski? Are you related to Unieski? Well Is that a no? Was that a yes? Oh, he Whoa, hey now, come for you, bro. That time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. And, even on and now, two, let it do. Like that. And here is strike three called on the fastball. Looks to be about eye level, but it's out number. Yeah, 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 yeah. Into the box, Danny Franklin. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The 1 0 pitch. Here we go, Rhino. Here we go. Here we go, Rhino. Here we go. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. The 1 2. And this is swung on and bounced on the ground to third. Throw to first there we go. I like it. So Just need the offense to show up and the to the bottom of inning we'll be good. We go. The Braves lead it one to nothing. Now here's the first pitch. Joey Land is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch. I mean, if I can go seven or eight innings, think about bringing that one, right one run. Ooh, and he'll try I don't deserve a loss. With the split finger, but that one nearly got him. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him. I don't think. 
Sometimes you need to keep guys all right. out there. I think that's all he was trying to do. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Hit, hit, all right. Larry, Larry Powell. Number one, you say. One away as he looks at a ball, it's 1-0. Oh. The 1-0. Oh. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at 1-1. One and one. Now a swing and another chance at third. Throw gets him, two down. Two down. Marcus Mead will stand in now. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 thus far. Oh. Now a swing and oh boy. Ground balls have ruled the inning. A third straight right here. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. William Monroe will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first Still inning, no run, huh? all zero cents. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult... That's all right. Their pitcher has been in a groove a since the beginning. That time, maybe outside as well. And it's been no run since the beginning. And the splitter's in there as he gets ahead here one and two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. This is the short guy. I think this is the short guy. Not to hit. Drive it like you can. Let's go. That misses and we're even at two and two. The pitch. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Hmm. The two two one more time. Now here's Jesus guy fouled off and heading for the seat. Stop it. Just fighting to stay alive here. Still stop two it. And, two. and he'll let it do. Thank you. Goodness me. Here's the first offering. JB Shuck. Um, in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's one and oh. Well, for that man right there, only the one run allowed. How like, that wasn't even that when you're borderline. And you're just not getting the support. Well, the good pitchers really don't let it get to them. They know that it cuts both ways. Sometimes you give up five runs and your guys score you eight. You just have to focus. Yeah, not on the Orioles. That doesn't happen. Opposite field to left. Right at him. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in. For that door still is throwing me off. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins William to throw out there. William Ra. William Ra. Set no, stop with the Ra crap. It's Ra. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. A ball and two strikes to count now with the base. Let it do. Apparently, when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes, you got a loss. A one nothing loss. This half, Leron Freeman will stand in here to start the seventh. DK, it's been a pitching and defense afternoon all throughout. Because seven innings, one run. You totally deserve just a loss. It's that simple. Here's the pitch. Off the end of the bat. Oh, I gotta cover first. Hang on. I'm there. I'm covering. This dude never told me if he's related to Unieski. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the and now we crank it. Right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Oh, now a ball get there. Oh, okay, that's fine. And he'll have himself a base hit. It was either get there or don't let it go by you. And he didn't let it go by there. Yeah, he, he got a little revenge there. He struck out twice before that. And now he gets him back with a solid base hit. Danny Franklin. Is, is, is that what we call now. getting him back? A called strike. It's 0-1. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Swing and a ball pretty well. Oh no. Left center. And that's There's really another run. And should be extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner will score from first. And that could turn out to be a That's going to be the end of the game. Big insurance run right there. That makes this a two-run game. But it doesn't even matter if my team doesn't score. Like, the three runs means nothing. 
Yeah, five to one. That's nice. That's great. So not the best performance, but uh, yeah, team doesn't score, so what can you do? I almost knocked my fan over. That would have been awful. But guys, that's where we end this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Sure hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you guys want to see more, and I will see you next time. Peace.